Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。今日は鮭のホイル焼きをオーブントースターで手軽に作ります。First, salt both sides of the salmon fillet and lightly pat the surface with your fingers. Then, let the fillet sit for 15 minutes. Squeeze out the yuzu juice or any type of sour citrus juice and pour it into a pitcher. Combine it with the same amount of soy sauce, making easy homemade ponzu. Slice the long green onion into thin slices using diagonal cuts. Place a sheet of parchment paper onto a larger piece of aluminum foil. Arrange two thirds of the long green onions along with two thirds of the shimeji and maitake mushrooms onto the paper. Sprinkle on the salt and the pepper. Add the white wine. Now, with the kitchen paper, carefully remove the excess moisture from the surface of the fillet. Add the white wine. Coat it evenly. And place the salmon onto the mushrooms. Sprinkle on a generous amount of the pepper again. Place the rest of the long green onion and the mushrooms on top. Lift both sides of the foil and fold the edges two to three times to seal. Likewise, fold the left and right sides as shown. Then, place the foil into a toaster oven. Bake the salmon for about 20 minutes. Now it is ready to serve. With the kitchen gloves, remove the foil and place it onto a plate. Unseal the foil, but be careful not to burn yourself. Top with the chopped spring onion leaves. Then place the butter onto the fish. Finally, pour the ponds sauce over the dish. The cooking time depends on the thickness of the fillet and the type of toaster oven, so adjust it accordingly. Miso and butter go great together, so you can also season the dish like in our salmon chan chan yaki video. Shake no mi ga fukura de to ってもおいしくできました。きのこたっぷりと一緒にどうぞ。You can also use Pacific cod, Pollock, sea bream, red snapper, and marlin in this recipe. Good luck in the kitchen!